In today's news for you, youth violence. Think your child is immune from being lured into the problem? They actually recruit in elementary school, and that's a shock to a lot of people, but they do. They recruit them young, and they, and they, they suck them in. Richland County Sheriff Leon Lott there. Now, because of the seriousness and prevalence of youth violence, several groups are coming together in a citywide Youth Violence Prevention Week campaign, which will be next week. Officer Lance Adams is a gang agent with the Columbia Police Department. So, Officer, we, we look at this problem of youth violence, and I guess we think that it just happens in certain places in the city with certain kinds of kids. But as Sheriff Lott was just saying, on a county mm -hmm. level, these kids are being targeted at a very young age. Is that what you're seeing? That's correct, Dondi. Uh, we are finding that kids are getting targeted as early as elementary school, second, third, and fourth grade. And it doesn't hit any type of ethnic, ethnic group, any economical mm -hmm. type of uh, form inside the community. It's anywhere and anybody that can be targeted for actually gangs. Is it getting worse? Well, I would say that it's, it, it, it's getting worse in certain type of areas as far as recruitment. But as far as the gang violence that associated with it, it is being brought to a halt because a lot of the different programs that is being brought out there in the community. Why is it happening? You know, I know there's a lot of personal opinions that go in that people say, well, it's violent movies, it's violent video games, it's lack of respect in, in broken families, lack of respect for parents and school officials and such. In your personal views and what you see from studies and, and, and in your work as a police officer, mm -hmm. why are our youth dealing with so much violence? Well, I think the reason why is a lot of it is a, is a cause of trying to fit in. Just like with anything, uh, with most kids these days, a lot of things is about styles, about fads, about, you know, being able to attract attention. So therefore, even though all those other parameters with gangs that do exist, but some of it is just plain, well, this is something I feel that's cool that I want to be involved in. And I'm going to do it because it gives me a sense of belonging, it gives me a sense of structure, and it makes me popular. So therefore, why not try it? You, as in Columbia's uh, City Police Department, one of the groups involved, if I can pull up that full screen of information, in a citywide youth violence prevention week that is taking place. There are three aspects to it. Praise Fest and Peach Mar Peace March, dealing with the aftermath. Let's move Kids Day. The number number there on your screen is to the uh, Recreation Department, and they'll have more details. And then I've put all the details for you on the Big Red 10 on our website. Uh, Officer Adams, you think it'll make a difference? I really do think it will make a difference. We just encourage that everyone come out to this event. Uh, it takes a village to raise a family, as it used to be said. Right. So it's going to take a city, it's going to take a county to stop any type of gang violence and gang recruitment. So we definitely need everybody on board for this event. Well, we appreciate you coming on the show and appreciate what you do out there, especially you for much. our youth. Uh, and also want to let you know the FBI says that South Carolina is home to more than 100 gangs. Richland County Sheriff Leon Lott that you heard from earlier says his gang unit is forcing these criminals underground. Tonight on WIS News 10 at 11 p.m., we'll continue our Gangs in Richland County series. Megan Norman speaks with a former gang member about his decision to join a gang. Do you regret being in the gang? Mm, I do. I do. But uh, I'm glad I experienced it. It lets me know that it's not something that I want to do, something that I would ever want to do, and it'll be something that I'll definitely talk to my kids about. Hear why he chose to leave gang life and how children are targeted and recruited for gang activity. And a big thanks to Officer Lance Adams of the Columbia Police Department as well. We'll be right back.